Well, some drama in Douglas County this morning. The school district is changing its equity policy, but it comes after a tense board meeting last night where one member suddenly resigned. Yeah, that was one stunning moment in a night of much drama. Denver 7's Jessica Crawford is here to unpack this for us. Jessica, critics are now worried the equity policy is too watered down. Yes, but um, the drama didn't start mm -hmm. only with that equity policy. It actually started before because this included a protest mm -hmm. that took place before this meeting and then hours of public testimony. One board member even resigned saying that changing the equity policy was failing the students. Doug Co school board member Elizabeth Hansen resigned mid board meeting, but first she cleared the air going all the way back to the firing of former superintendent Corey Wise. The shocking departure came ahead of a vote on controversial updates to the equity policy updates that expand the definition of diversity so broadly that some board members expressed concern. It diluted the intentions of the policy. Revisions also put the responsibility of achieving equity on the student, not the district or the staff. Before the meeting, parents and students protested racism outside the building. The protest was in support of eighth grader Jeremiah Ganzi, a student who says classmates called him racial slurs at school while teachers stood by. Castle Rock needs to become more loving. Castle Rock needs to break out of their shell, their bubble, and they need to treat these situations as situations rather than jokes. I want to be very clear. Jeremiah Ganzi is not the only student in this district that has experienced disgusting acts of racism, of anti-Semitism, of homophobic and of transphobic acts. The district says racism and discrimination are not acceptable and staff are dedicated to school safety. Hansen, on the other hand, says the board isn't meeting its legal obligations to make sure it doesn't happen again. Hmm. I'm Jessica Crawford, Denver 7. Interesting. Thank you, Jessica. Well, as we dig deeper this morning, Doug Coe School's equity policy has been a point of contention for years now. It was approved by a previous board in March of 2021 following the death of George Floyd, but later a conservative majority directed then Superintendent Corey Wise to review it. The board then gave Wise an ultimatum and fired him shortly after, which violated Colorado's open meeting law in the process. The district paid Wise more than $830,000 to settle discrimination claims over his firing.